My name's Don. I served eight years with that Marine Corps active duty from 1991 to 1999, and I was stationed mainly on the East Coast. I did two years in Okinawa, and I also went on ship, and so I got to see Europe. And then I had about a nine-year gap, and I went into the National Guard from 2009 to 2012 with uh, military police units. When I got out in 99, went through marriage, but I was having um, nightmares of my troops. Even though I've never been in a combat situation, we'd be sitting there having a drink, and next thing you know, heads are exploding near me, and you just panic sets in, and I never realized it, that it was part of depression, PTSD. Um, sitting in rooms, I like to see doors, windows, know everything that's coming on, movement, I actually automatically look. Um, driving, I'm always in my mirrors, looking around. I think it's a combination of the training I had and the stress in the environment and not really having the adaptation, the transition coming out. There was no help when you got out. It was just, here you go, here's your DD-214, you're gone, get out, bye, see ya. Years later, I ended up living in New Hampshire and um, I went through, I got my first divorce and I was felt like I wasn't gonna amount to anything. I wasn't gonna see my kids, my life was ending. So I put a gun to my chest, and um, before I pulled the trigger, I thought about my boys, and I went and checked myself into a civilian hospital, counseling for about eight months with them. I moved back down to Massachusetts in 2008 and started using the VA, and met up with a psychiatrist that was an Army veteran, and a psychologist that's an Army veteran. So there was a rapport, they could see my side of it, where I was coming from. So I got a bond going. It's been a great time using the, um, the telemed, where teleconference telemed, where I sit in front of a video screen. It's like Skyping. And the psychiatrist is in another VA, and we just sit there and go back and forth for an hour. And then I get to see face to face with the psychologist whenever I need it. You know, it's like we're at about every two months at this point now. Some of the things that I've gotten that work out for me during these conferences, whether it be the telemed or the face-to-face, -face, is um, you self-reflect. You know, you can explain what's going on, how you feel, and they explain ways of coping with it. Like my psychologist told me, actually took me out in the hallway during one of the sessions and was like, why don't we do this? I'm gonna walk down the hallway and I'm gonna be those voices in your head telling you the stress voices you know, what you're worrying about, and I'm just gonna rattle stuff off, and I want you just to act like you're on a bus, and you're driving the bus, and they keep coming up and talking to you, and you just tell them to sit back and go sit down. And it was just like, wow, something so simple to handle something so big. It was, it was just weird how it just worked. My whole homelessness situation started with um, going through a divorce, and we were behind on rent, and we couldn't keep up with rent. I went to my veteran service officer in my town, and he directed me to a program in the VA. And I worked with the homeless program there, and they ended up putting me in a uh, shelter. Was, my son was two years old at the time when I had, went into the shelter. So through the homeless shelter and the VASH program, I actually got into the vocational rehab program at the VA. So now I'm in college to pick up my social work and degree. You have a, a counselor right at the VA that helps you out. Um, they help pay for your school, if not pay for all of it. Um, anything you need for school, depending on your situation and how much you qualify for it. So I can go through school and pick up my master's degree, go all the way through a master's degree through one of the approved programs. Your first step to anything is realizing there's something wrong and not trying to conquer it yourself. You're gonna be the one pushing forward and making the results, but you need somebody there to guide you and help you, somebody that's dealt with it before. I've been through homelessness, I've been through suicide attempts, and you, you can turn around, you can change. It's just, you gotta just keep trying. You can't let it get you down.